Welcome back to our Lenten series, uh, Water in the Desert. Father DiTomo here with uh, Jeannie McCloskey today. And uh, we call this series Water in the Desert because our life in this world sometimes is like a journey through the desert. We face trials and temptations, challenges, but we also find Jesus Christ who is the water of life, the source of our nourishment and refreshment for the journey. So today we are going to talk about uh, reconciliation and the sacrament of reconciliation. So today's gospel for the fifth Sunday of Lent is uh, from John chapter 8, verse 1 to 11. So I'm going to read that now. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives, but early in the morning he arrived again in the temple area, and all the people started coming to him. And he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and made her stand in the middle. They said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. So what do you say? They said this to test him so that they could have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and began to write on the ground with his finger. But when they continued asking him, he straightened up and said to them, Let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again he bent down and wrote on the ground. And in response they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. So he was left alone with the woman before him. Then Jesus straightened up and said, and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She replied, No one, sir. Then Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, do not sin anymore. This gospel of the woman caught in adultery, we, we hear those words of Jesus, neither do I condemn you, right? Those words are so uh, liberating. They're so freeing. And he says then, of course, go now and sin no more. And, and this is a lot of like what we do in the sacrament of reconciliation when we bring our sins to Jesus and we don't experience condemnation and we are given the strength with God's grace to go and try to sin no more, to be transformed, right? So, uh, Jeannie, my question for you is how has, how is your experience of the sacrament of reconciliation and really how you've experienced and encountered Jesus Christ through the sacrament of reconciliation, how has that transformed you? Well, it has been um, many, many years uh, since I had my first reconciliation, mm -hmm. 1952, as a matter okay. of fact. So um, I think of my life kind of in um, like four volumes, you might say, and I'm on volume four right now, obviously. Okay. But um, uh, when I first received reconciliation, um, I heard Jesus. We were taught about, you know, what was going to happen and the grace that we would get. But for 20 years of receiving the reconciliation, um, it was all good. But gradually, as I got older, and I went through my own sabbatical of not really paying attention. When I finally did receive reconciliation, I, I kind of identify with this woman mm -hmm. um, because it was more difficult. Um, she uh, uh, was going to, to Jesus asking for forgiveness because she knew that she had sinned. Mm -hmm. And I had sinned, as we all have. But during those 20 years, um, the sins were greater because I was not paying attention. Mm -hmm. I was not listening to the Word of God, and so therefore it was easy to sin when you're not listening, mm -hmm. and you're not loving, and you're not you know, hearing uh, His uh, forgiveness. So in the next 20 years, I realized that I needed to make change, and I did start to make you know, changes, and I kind of look at myself, my soul, as sterling silver, started out super shiny but it was getting very dull and very tarnished over the years so in this third volume i would say is i started to rub out you know some of that tarnish and by listening to my confessors mm -hmm. and trying to do you know better and listening to jesus getting closer um, my final 
not final, but I'm here on this last volume, I guess I would say, here at St. Mary's, and I have had so many opportunities to listen to the Word of God, um, you know, helped along by the priest who have invited, you know, me to um, go into confession more often than I ever did before, and each time I feel like my soul is becoming shinier. Mm. It's going to glisten because I want to have it lustrous for those final days, mm -hmm. and so it, it it's good. I feel mm -hmm. good now. I feel that I have been um, helped along by the parish, by the church, by the people that I have met here who, um, you know, help me along in this journey mm. that I'm on. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. If someone said to you or asked you, okay, you go to confession, <clears throat> you must experience Jesus in that confessional. What's Jesus like from well, your experience of the confessional? Um, Jesus is very uh, uh, approachable, mm -hmm. very kind, very loving. Um, I do feel that way that when I walk inside and um, even if it's a face-to-face -face, uh, confession or you know with a with a door that I too do feel that you my priest is in persona Christi, mm -hmm. Christi. I feel mm -hmm. that it is Jesus and it's comfortable it's more like talking to um, a father mm -hmm. you know even better maybe than talking to my own father or certainly better than talking to that very first confessor that I had my first confession who was a very uh, brusque mm. uh, difficult person yeah. who, it was kind of scary mm -hmm. it's not now mm -hmm. um, I think maybe I'm more open to it I realize that the graces that I'm getting is more than I ever anticipated um, throughout my years because now um, it, you know it's much easier to listen to my uh, my confessor and helping me along uh, on this journey, on this meeting, you might say. It's beautiful. And so if there's anyone out there who's saying, look, I'm watching this video, but it's been a long time since I've been to confession. It's been, oh boy, 15 years, 20 years, and I don't know where to start. And I'm scared because I haven't done it in a while. And I'm scared to go to that priest in that little box or whatever. Mm -hmm. If there's anyone who's there, mm -hmm. what would you say to them for advice? Oh my God, come on in. And even if if the box is one that you feel like maybe that you can hide behind that curtain and that would make you feel more comfortable, fine. Mm -hmm. But I would suggest just call up Father Dutomo or mm -hmm. one of our priests and go and do it one-on-one, -on -one, face to face. It's like a conversation. Mm. You're having a conversation with Jesus much easier. Yeah. You can pour it all out and more and more will come as you're having that meeting. Beautiful. And I would agree with what Jeannie says from the other side of the confessional. As priests, we really do try to let Jesus uh, work through us. We're we're not we're not perfect. We're not sinless. Uh, I'm not the Savior, but because I'm an ordained priest, Jesus says, "Will you be my ears and my lips? My let me lend let me lend me your voice, so that y I could say the words of absolution through you." And it's it, it's just and the Holy Spirit's at work in confession, right? Mm -hmm. It's not really hard to do it as a priest. It's just you let the merciful uh, Jesus uh, uh, speak through you, and. Um, uh, I just want to end maybe with this. These words of Jesus where he says, um, neither do I condemn you. Neither do I condemn you. Yes, he offers that challenge. He says, go and sin no more. Because when we leave confession, we, you know, we should try our best with God's grace to, to avoid those sins. But in our weakness, we, we may stumble on them again. Mm -hmm. So we're trying. We're trying, to, we're trying to live a transformed life. But the most important thing is we'll never hear condemnation in the confessional. Right? Mm -hmm. if, we, if we confess with a sincere heart... Mm -hmm. He will always have Jesus say to us, I do not condemn you. You are free. You are free. So let's pray for everyone who's continuing to watch these videos. And thank you, Jeannie, for your beautiful testimony. Let's pray. Go to confession, even if it's been a long time. Yes. Ask the priest just to help you. Say, it's been a long time. Father, can you help me? We'll help you out. The Lord be with you and with your, and spirit. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace.